Let's go through the Bandai Tomorrow releases in the SH Figure Arts line for August. And the first one I'm starting off with is the One Piece line, which does make a comeback after a few years and we'll be getting the Monkey de Luffy. This time it is based on the raid on Onigashima, which I believe is around the series episodes 900th to 1000th. And it is Luffy in the red top and orange shorts. So I know that some people do prefer his original OG colors, which is the red top and the blue shorts. But we did get that in the previous line. And of course, we've seen other ones like the Figure Art Zero. And there's also the newly announced live action one. So this is definitely a change and aimed for those who just want the latest and up to date with the source. So it's also nice to see a different look. And it does come with his straw hat. The poses look to be on point. And the different facial expressions really what sells this figure. It kind of looks like what we see in the anime. And of course, we know that there's more characters announced for this One Piece line to go with this. We'll also be getting our second Bleach Thousand Year Blood War figure with Renji. This again looks very accurate, like the recent Ichigo release with the weapon, the different face expressions, as well as the articulation. And we know that this is a line that Bandai haven't done before. So this will certainly be very sought after, especially as Bleached anime is very popular. And for sure, this is only the start of the Bleach line, as I expect more to be announced in the future. The Orange Piccolo is arriving for the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. This is a line they are deep into, having given us a lot of the characters already, including the recent Beast Gohan. So this, of course, is perfect to go with that. And even though we've seen a few piccolos in the previous lines, this one will certainly feel a lot different. And it includes the different face expressions as well, and it's also necessary for a previous Gohan figure. Moving on to the live action, we'll be getting a Deadpool figure, and this is for Deadpool 2. This is good timing due to the recent behind the scenes of the filming of the third installment. So there is some sort of hype around this character. So it is the second Deadpool SA figure arts we're getting since the previous one had the lighter tone suit. This time it will be the darker color, a bit more grittier, kind of the battle look. And one major thing they added this time around is the armed weapons with lots of guns included. So this automatically feels like an improvement. And staying on Marvel, they will be re-releasing the Iron Man Mark 85, the final battle edition from the movie Avengers Endgame. So once again, we'll get the darker suit look with plenty of accessories like the repulsors, the lightning refocuser, which in my opinion, one of the best accessories for an Iron Man figure, as well as some effects and a Tony Stark head sculpt. And this time around, I believe they will include the Nano Gauntlet, which is something they didn't do in the previous one, as you had to buy a separate figure for that. And the other release is Thanos, the final battle edition from Avengers Endgame. So just like Iron Man, this is a re-release of the ever so popular line. So it does include once again his full armor gear, the blade, the gauntlet in hand to create those iconic scenes towards the end battle. And this is for those who missed out on the previous one or who are new to collecting this line. So this is a must alongside the Iron Man. In terms of the other releases, we'll be getting the Mask Rider phase, which is for the 20th anniversary of the original broadcast Kamen Rider 555 series, and it will include all his accessories for those different poses. And the other one is Kamen Rider Jeets. This series is back again with the Kamen Rider Nago beat form. This is a very cool looking Kamen Rider, as it does look to be some sort of musician with a guitar, and paired up with that head sculpt with the headphones, this does look very unique. And there's also a Mask Rider number two from Shin Mask Rider, which looks to be using a hard plastic scarf with a soft cloth jacket, which is something we don't see too often in their figure arts line. So once again, this is a very unique release. We'll also be getting the Ultraman Decker Miracle type, and I believe this is the only Ultraman making its way for this month. And this is from the series Ultraman Decker. It includes some blaster effects for the accessories, and it seems as though they have shown some other ones for the other figures in the line. We'll also be getting the Tokyo Teho Special Edition. This is from the Uma Musumi Pretty Darby line. This was initially released in July, but that was a special edition. So I assume that this one is just a standard release being the same figure. Uh, the only difference really being the packaging. So once again, we'll have many different faces for different dynamic poses. And there's also a stand included. 
And finally from the same series we'll be getting again the Tamamo Cross. This is another character from the Uma Musumi Pretty Derby released last month. It includes many different faces making this another fun looking figure. Some ground effects again for the running poses and it's shown up here paired up with the other characters in the line. So that's all the SA figure are scheduled for August, another month of some exciting new characters once again. Which one are you most interested for? You can comment down below. Also hit the subscribe button for more lists for the future. Thanks for watching and hope to see you very soon.